Hello and welcome. My name is Tyrion Lannister. Well, folks, we just recently got a new update, so you know what time it is. Time to break it all down. Well, I gotta say that the actual official contents of this update is definitely a very sparse list. I'll kind of quickly go through it. But um, the first thing is that they're giving us a deployable commanders list for both Siege of Winterfell and All Out War. Um, that way you can kind of see what the various strategic skills are that those commanders have. Um, this pretty much already existed for Siege of Winterfell to my understanding. And they, it seems like they're kind of going to add it for All Out War. So it's definitely nice that they're doing that. Um, then they're going to make just an easier way for people to learn what researches they should do. They're adding these tips about recommended researches in the Maester's Tower. I don't think that's going to affect many uh, older players or anyone that has all of their research done. As they said, it's really for those newer lords and ladies. And then finally, the Mentor Apprentice system. It before was only accessible through the Social tab, which was just kind of odd. Um, and now they've added it to the More menu, um, which makes a lot of sense. Just to quickly go through those before, the social tab gives you Mentor Apprentice here. Now, if you go to more, you also have it right here. Um, as far as the researches, I, you know, unfortunately don't get those tips since I've already finished all of it. It doesn't say anything for me, um, but I believe that it might look different if you hadn't finished all of your research yet. Um, as far as the Siege of Winterfell stuff, what they're talking about is this little available commanders it shows you what all the different skills are that they have that way you can read about it figure out what you want to do um, that's at least my understanding of it um, I you know all out war doesn't have anything yet um, didn't see anything in any of the rules but my assumption is that uh, they will be adding some sort of tab like that that way you're able to figure out you know how exactly they all work so definitely we have that to look forward to but I think we can all agree that this is a pretty short update if that's it. Obviously there were some bug fixes too, but that's because the other major part of this update came through this mail. What was said in this mail is basically that they're modifying what happens when you level up your commander. And this is very much so in line with the changes that were made recently to Weirwood. Um, so essentially what we have now is that when your commander is just level 60, they have the base just 1,100 troops. Now, when you level up to 65, um, I believe when you level up to 65, you get 1,500 troops. And then um, when you get to 70, it should be 2,100 instead of the 1,500. And then it's at 2,100 for the rest. So it's just not giving as many troops for those last couple levels and giving them to you earlier on. Um, and then there's also some changes that were made to the guard attributes, like the guards that are like with your troops in certain like uh, expedition battles or weirwood battles and things like that. Um, those, they get a buff based on the level of the commander from level 50 to 55, 55 to 60, and so on. Um, but as they said here, the attributes will remain the same as the pre-adjustment and promotion that increase from 60 to 65, 75 to 80. So I think that the long story short is that this doesn't actually change anything for your commanders if they were already pretty much maxed at level 80. The only change is really for commanders that were lower level, and my understanding is that it's giving them more earlier on. And just to kind of show what I'm trying to talk about here, if I go to my commander screen, and great, let's look at Salma. So Salma right now brings 21,000 soldiers with her. At level 75, Lats also brings 21,000 soldiers with her. Let's go find someone who's level 70. Um, so here, Winton is level 70. He also brings 21,000. Um, that's kind of the point that I was making there. That used to be kind of like the last level up was when you got to level 70, which again, makes sense. Um, level 65 is 15,000, like I was just saying. Um, and all these should be level 65. And then if it's level 60, then it's just the 11,000, like I was saying. Um, I believe that those are all like that. And then it's regardless of whether they are awakened or not. Um, there's no like extra level that became unlocked. And this is because they've made that change to the Weirwood and the equipment where there's no equipment that gets added that you then can upgrade your commander and that the levels are about, you know, unlocking a higher level of equipment that you're then able to equip and then you're able to upgrade them. They've done away with all of that, um, which 
I think is a good fix. Like that equipment always felt very random, very kind of silly, just a lot of extra button mashing. So they've gotten rid of all of that. They've just trimmed it down. The number of troops you bring is based on the level of your commander, not based on whether you've upgraded their you know tier and whether they are a tier eight or a tier seven or whatever it might be. Um, so as you can see, level 60 will give 11,000, level 65 will give 15, and then level 70 will give 21,000, and then that's the cap. Um, level 80 does not change that. That's what you used to get at level 80. Um, so no real big changes there. But I hope that this makes sense to you guys. Um, definitely, I would say that this is the most um, interesting change, in my opinion. Um, again, I do think it's in line with the other changes that we've seen so far with the Weirwood tree. And overall, I like it. I think it's a good fix. I'm glad that they did that. Um, I, I hope that this was helpful to some of you, especially if you're a newer account. I expect this update was really exciting for you because you're able to get stronger much quicker. You're able to look, know what the right researches are to get. All that good stuff definitely seems helpful. Um, but I think that not, not going to have a huge effect on overall gameplay, especially at the higher levels. But Considering it's in the middle of the Lion's Conquest, uh, the UC season, I think people would be pretty upset if they made some radical change that really tore up the landscape. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, my name is Tyrion Lannister, and I'll see you then.